YouTube, how's everyone doing? One shot bringing you guys another Modern Warfare 2 video. Just a quick upload for you all today, but I wanted to update you guys on some information we got from Infinity Ward yesterday regarding disbanding lobbies and some changes that might be coming to that in the near future. For those of you not aware, Modern Warfare 2019 was the first game to introduce disbanding lobbies as a way of driving the content-based matchmaking system, which essentially pairs you up with players that are most likely to keep you engaged with the game. And this system goes along hand in hand with skill-based matchmaking so you're also getting players that are on your skill level but also most likely to keep you engaged with the game with this content-based matchmaking system lobbies staying together is pretty much not possible because it wants to constantly refresh that algorithm to make sure that you are paired with the players that are closest to your skill level but also keeping you engaged with the game however yesterday on Twitter we did get a tweet from Infinity Ward while they were updating us for the day three of the beta and they said in that thread that we've heard a lot of you on disbanding lobbies we're working on a few tweaks to increase the chance of lobbies staying together and improving the user interface when it happens. Now, obviously, this isn't them coming out and saying that they're completely changing disbanding lobbies. However, this is a huge step in the right direction because for the past three years, we have not gotten any acknowledgement from Infinity Ward, Activision, or any of the other COD developers on disbanding lobbies because we know that this is the driver behind that content-based matchmaking system. Now, they're not going to completely get rid of disbanding lobbies, like I said, because it is that content-based matchmaking driver, but even if they changed it so that you got a new lobby after every three or four games instead of every game, this would be a change I think a lot of people would be happy with because it would be a best of both worlds where it allows you to get a new lobby based on skill and content-based matchmaking, but you can still play a game against the same people for a couple games and get a friendship and rivalry going, and I think that this is a great step in the right direction. Now with this, I'll be curious to see if they add map voting back. I know a lot of people have been advocating for map map voting back. I personally am a huge fan of the map voting. I love being able to choose between two maps or even a random. I think that's something that should have never gone away in Call of Duty in the first place, but it's nice to see that we're finally starting to get some traction and some movement behind some of these concerns that we've had. That's going to do it for today's video though. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Obviously, this is something that should have never gone away in the first place, so it's nice to see that it's coming back, but we should have always had this in the first place. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new and I will see you guys in the next Call of Duty video.